All right, YouTube, you asked for some games from him, and so we've got him. It's Flakes. Flakes, we're going to watch two different replays of him versus Smashy. Smashy is somebody that we've had on the stream before, a freestyler slash 1v1-er, but uh, that makes him a very exciting player to watch. And then Flakes on the other side, which you probably know if you've been following the one scene, but a player from the Netherlands who is known for being very smart and very patient in one. So we'll see how he looks here against Smashy. Now, one of the neat things is that Flakes has been out of the ones game for a long time. He definitely hasn't been playing tournaments or been looking to get involved in show matches or anything like that. But he is back for Fear Fest. If you guys don't know, he is going to play in the qualifier for Fear Fest and has been streaming his gameplay a bit more recently in his run up to it. In fact, I believe as I'm recording this, he's live right now. And I believe he played these two games against Smashy at some point earlier in this current stream. So we are quick on the replay review on this one. But I'm excited to see what Flakes is looking like because he has been wanting to improve for the purposes of the qualifier for Fear Fest. The way that Fear Fest works with six players being directly invited and only two qualifying. It is pretty much just the top eight of the 1v1 scene. So Flakes getting a win or, or you know pushing through the lower bracket of the qualifier would be incredibly impressive to prove that he is still in that top eight. Uh, but even if he's not able to, it'll be fun to have Flakes back. I think everybody can be excited. You can look at his car. If you haven't seen Flakes play before by some crazy reason, then I'm sure you're wondering, what am I looking at? Well, he always randomizes his cars. Although this one, I wonder if, I swear the Rocket League randomizer button has started to give people color-coordinated random cars because this one feels like it has at least somewhat of a theme except for maybe the octopus in terms of color. Or maybe it's just luck. But Flakes is absolutely running it up here against Smashy, showing that his gameplay strategy is a bit better than Smashy's. Smashy in the team secret decal? No, I actually don't know what decal this is. It's gonna get bumped off the play here. It does seem like a Brazil decal, but it's not a team. It's just the Brazil decal. Is it the uh, Brazil decal for the soccer stuff? That must be what it is. 5 0. 5 0. I actually haven't watched these replays between these two before pulling them up. But I know Smashy is a top player. If you don't know him, he's from England, like I said before. Bit of a comp ones player, bit of a freestyler as well. Signed by, or this was once signed by a uh, freestyle team. But my goodness, he is just letting so many free opportunities for Flakes as Flakes gets a sixth. Smashy finally getting a kickoff win in his favor. But his first shot isn't great. Tries to go for a soft save. Placing this into the corner. Full field dribble. Now this is what we expect to see from Smashy. And he actually 50s it in. So at least a single goal from Smashy. With half the game left to be played. Maybe we could be seeing the beginning of a comeback. And a lot of that is going to come off the back of continued kickoff wins. Now for me, Flick, but Flakes, he has a better save. I mean, we pulled up this replay for the sake of seeing where Flakes was at and watching his gameplay, but he's played such a good punish game so far in this first few minutes. But the story is really just whether or not Smashy can get back on his feet. The turtle flick is actually going to work. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Flakes turtle flicking from so far out. Thought there was no way that that turned into a goal. But Smashy ends up not keeping it out of his net. 7-1 and... Smashy cannot score on his open opportunity. Immediately at following off the kickoff, Flake's going to try and chase Smashy down. Smashy needed to pick up that midfield boost. Has not been the best of gameplay between the two of these two players as the clock is winding down. Flake's couldn't stay in control of that ball, so he just back off. As he's known to do. Now going to the other opposite side wall of Smashy. Smashy pre-jumped it, and Flakes hurt him. So he backs off the ball. Both field dribble for Flakes. One misconception that I think people have a lot is that Flakes isn't mechanical. I actually think he is very solid mechanically. 
very capable of pulling off just about anything, but looks to not do it when, you know, really tryharding and trying to get close wins. You know, you're not going to see him going for the kind of shot you just did there. And now he's just stopped behind the ball and then handed it over. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to make a point. He was streaming when he was playing these games. So he might be talking to chat or something. But his point there being, I don't need to go to this ball, Smashy. You're losing this game. There's really nothing I have to do. And maybe over-exaggerated the point a bit. Ended up getting scored on Demo. Smashy just needs to force this in quick. What a save. Pre-flip save from Flakes. He's got another dribble. Once again, he's not going to rush the ball to Smashy. He did jump and wave dash cut only after seeing that Smashy was potentially going to come challenge so that he could push it around him. Ooh, missed touch from Flakes. Smashy is around like a shark trying to capitalize, and he does. 7 4. I mean, we're talking about a game that started 6 0, didn't I? So Smashy has looked decent towards the latter half of this game. 20 seconds left to get three is going to be really tough to do, but not impossible. And maybe it is possible if Flakes just doesn't play defense. I, I think he was doing something weird in net there because no reason why Smashy should have had such an uncontested shot. But the half flip kick out from Flakes is not punished by Smashy. He tried to just power it bottom right. Didn't work out, and Flakes is going to roll it into his own net. Oh my goodness. With one second left to go, now all of a sudden it is possible. I mean, all you got to do is push the ball down at all. But who knew what we were going to get ourselves into watching some Flakes replay. But we're going to head to the second game between Flakes and Smashy. We'll see if he's still in this Fennec uh, or if he's randomized yet again. Game number two and Flakes is in a new car. Smashy's still in that same one. I do think that this second game was maybe shortly queued into, if not the next game after the one we just watched. Now, Smashy is still rocking the same decal, that's how you know. Uh, but Smashy played in the open qualifier, if I forgot to mention that before. He played in the open qualifier and he made it very far. I think he made it around top four in the open qualifier. Wasn't quite able to make it there. So this is not a terrible test for Flakes, who is going to need to not only beat players who can do well in the open qualifier, but also players in the closed qualifier who are about the toughest players you can ever go up against. The, the close qualifiers for the EU stuff is always incredibly deep, and I can barely believe it when I go to see who's playing. You know, no shame to the North American squad, but the depth in EU in terms of players at the level of, of being able to qualify like around that space is just so much deeper. So it's going to be really, really tough for Flakes to qualify. If he does, it's going to be really impressive, even if you were to not get a single win in the tournament after making it there. And, and that's the case for just about anybody. You know, this squad that has been invited to the Fear Fest has been, it's as, it's as best as it gets. If you guys haven't heard, it's Rawas, TRK, Jorias, Khaled, Moxie, and Razirs. So, you know, I think that's a, as close, if not the exact top six that you'd have from the the region that plays on EU servers. Uh, the only other player that we maybe would have had that we weren't able to get is Jack, because Jack is actually back in England. So I was going to have him play on the EU portion of this tournament, but he's unavailable those days, so he won't be playing on either version of the tournament. But other than that, just about everybody from both regions is able to play in this tournament, which you'd love to see. One of the biggest prize pools, by the way, that has been in ones for a long time. I know Salt Mine 1, I think was a similar prize pool. Salt Mine 2 might have been $20,000. Um, but I think this is definitely the biggest prize pool that is sponsored by a single person, which is me. And by me, I mean also you guys, because you guys watching these YouTube videos and subscribing on Twitch are the people who have made it possible for me to run tournaments like this, so thank you. So anyways, you guys might not want to hear about Fear Fest. You might be here to watch more about Flakes, who is once again doing exactly what he did 
in the first game that we watched, which is just absolutely smashing, smashy, and putting him so far out of contention early that he was able to basically mess around for the rest of that previous game. And we'll see if that happens here or if Smashy's going to turn it on a bit sooner because he does score one before Flakes gets the six, which is what happened in the previous game. Smashy is playing really aggressive here, diving to try and take Flakes down off the early kickoff. What is this boost and trail? And <laughs> everything that Flakes uses is so crazy. You can see little fragments of it around the map uh, as it like makes a warp in the replay or something. You guys see what I'm talking about? Smashy, he is gonna take advantage of a long shot. This Flakes driving around the map, trying to stay in control of the wall, couldn't do it for an entire minute. Now, he really loves that half of kickoff, which is very interesting to me because I think around the time that Flakes was playing ones, you didn't really see players doing that almost ever. I don't even think you saw Flakes doing it, but he has definitely registered that it's a viable strategy now and has picked it up, seems to Love the half flip on the diagonals. Nothing like getting the ball given to you for a quick possession to start the game. I think if there's anybody who understands the value in that, it would certainly be Flakes. And he's able to surprise Smashy, which is a quick touch on net. He's giving himself a 5 2 lead. Wall to air dribble is not going to be allowed. Smashy knows what Flakes can do if given those opportunities. So Flakes is just continuing to try and cut left and right. I mean, he has the boost advantage, so that's why he doesn't feel any, you know, restraint in going for these tough plays at midfield. You know, those challenges that might not necessarily go his way. He knows as soon as it bounces and goes to wherever it's going to be, he's going to have a full tank. Smash is going to have nothing, which means he'll almost definitely be able to just figure out a way to score it afterwards. And if not, he's certainly not getting scored on, not with that much of an advantage. So that's why... He's willing to take those challenges as a player who normally never takes challenges. You know, he is notorious about not wanting to take any 50s and only ever taking things that are for sure. This time he couldn't chase Smashy down. And Smashy goes over the top of him. So with a minute left to go, can Smashy bring it back? He's got a great kickoff win. And the ball in the perfect position for a guy who likes to freestyle, but... Oh, nice bomb by Smashy. Well, it's actually a great shot. The reset and the movement put the ball just inside the net, but it didn't seem like it really had enough surprise factor to get Flakes to miss on defense. But a bump can make it so that you don't need surprise factor. You know, it might be easy to read, but it's impossible to save when somebody just pushes you out of the way. Look at Flakes' patience. I mean, this is prime Flakes' goal right here. Just reversing back off the ball, letting the defender panic and then chipping it over the top of them for a goal. So if you came here for peak flakes, you got it right there. Smash, he was able to read the fake kick up this time, but he got a bit greedy in the corner. Thought he could steal the boost and cut in. Wait, see, flakes, I swear, was not trying to score that there late. He was almost going to save it himself, but then Smash, he own gold it. So with 30 seconds left to go, does seem like another Flakes win here against Smashy, which is a good sign for him in the close qualifier. It's going to be lots of tough opponents. Smashy seem to be rushing to net here either. As he slams the ball off the ground. Nice cut. You know, Flakes going in and out of net. I think both these guys in both these games have relaxed a little bit towards the end of them and realized that the, the, the outcome is already decided, so can might as well just free play a little bit for the final seconds. Smashy air dribble bump. It does work. I mean, as much as I say that, though, Smashy's right here. Smashy's right here with seven seconds. So it's actually very possible. But just a couple kickoff wins or even a single kickoff win, it looks like, for Flakes could be enough to end it. And that does end it. So Flakes gets a W. That'll hit the ground. Flakes, two wins against Smashy. Good sign for him. He is continuing to play, probably even right now, as I record this uh, on his stream. and He's playing ones and twos. So I think we're going to see a pretty solid version of Flakes. I don't know if we'll see him at the peak performance he was once at because, you know, he is a player that maybe spent some time as best in the world at ones when he was really playing it. So it'll be great to have him back and uh, make sure to tune in hit to his stream. I think he plans on streaming his own games 
for the qualifier on the 26th. So on the 26th at 7 p.m. Central European time, that is when Flakes and the rest of the players will start their games. I might be live. Sounds like Flakes might be live. Uh, so make sure to check us out. See him play.